As the group was arguing about whether the apparition was or was not a prophecy, Helena, totally upset, kept her distance. The voice of the stone will destroy his power. The voice of the stone will destroy his power. The same words that had gone round in her head dozens of times, these same words had just appeared from the distant past, in Latin, engraved in the original wall of a cathedral in red Gothic letters. Undoubtedly, her fate was linked to this prophecy whose inner meaning she could not understand. Instinctively, however, she knew it had to do with her parents, with a world of mist, with a black fortress and its mercenaries. She could no longer stand back. She had to confront this brutal, fierce world since she knew she was not there by chance, not with these words that appeared on the wall only minutes after her arrival. She would have to learn to fight, despite her artistic nature and the fact that her destiny lay in a poetic world of romantic music. She would have to be violent and participate in a battle, in an all-out war. Her parents' freedom, the survival of the orchestra members and of her friends depended more on her than she could imagine. She felt lost, distressed and confused as she suddenly realized that she was trembling.